Ooh, Cumin's Bohemians. Mix Pro mini game series would be quite innovative, bro. Yeah, yeah, a team game tournament with random teams could be funny. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think that could be nice. I mean, it's more of a show match idea to be fair, but like show match idea ideas to like just mix and match a couple players is, is pretty cool. Got him quite rusty actually. I haven't played one v one in a while. NBA Ruben and Tato just sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, but Ruben's talk is another level compared to those guys, honestly. Like NBA is like a like a like a like a weekend dude, like dogger. You know what I mean? Ruben's talk is a dogger by trait, like worldwide recognized dogger. So it's, it's different, man. That's like saying Mr. Yo, MBL, and Huang for the best siege pushing team. Like, you know what I mean? You know, Mr. Yo and MBL have some dangerous siege pushes, but Huang based his whole livelihood, his career is around the siege push. It's different. It's a different league. For sure. I got Cumans, by the way. Isn't there a bug where my Cuman sheep last longer? I had to pick the sieve in the tournament today, like I'm trying to use that bucket to my advantage to get some money off it. They're definitely lasting longer. Fifty percent more food on cumin sheep. Yeah, I, th I think so. I I've heard that at least. I need a confirmation though. Only the first sheep. Oh, oh, I wasted it. How can people? How did people figure that out? That's actually a hard glitch to figure it out, but respect to people. Are these good in team games? Not really. Like, they're okay sometimes, but usually there's just better options. In team games, you need... You don't want jack... Like, in 1v1s, you want a jack of all traits sieve. In, in team games, you want a very specialized sieve. That's what you have to think about. So, for example, if you're rocking... You know, I don't know. If he opens in a 1v1, well, might not be the best sieve because other sieves like Chinese can easily, or that's a bad example, other sieves like, um, let's see, think of a flexible sieve, like Khmer are going to be re really flexible, have some scorpions, some skirms, some knights to deal with them. But if you then consider, oh no, but if you then consider team games, Ethiopians can make archers on the flank and uh, it's very hard to deal with that because you cannot go for counter units in team game. Because the double gold composition is the best. I feel myself playing really bad today. Damn. I thought that was his town center, scared me. Scared me for a second. Also, wait, did, did Yo just stop casting Vivi randomly? <laughs> oh, he's pushing deer, like, how can you be that? Oh, I went back. We all saw that, even. Damn, that would be so greedy. Bohemians, forward berries, that's interesting. Might have to do something about that, eh? Maybe I go men at arms this game. Ooh, I don't mind the men at arm archer situation. <clears throat> men at arms with Cubans need meta? I mean, I'm just playing the map, right? It's like forward berries. Seems like a pretty good idea to go for some men at arms. I could also go scouts into. Um, maybe, actually, to be honest, scouts into archers seems better versus Bohemians. Who's hitting me and where? Oh god. Everything's scaring me. It's like a horror horror film right now. Just because I feel like my woodline isn't the best. So going south is not bad here. Also, Cuban stable is very cheap, so it's pretty good too. But one man arms would be perfectly fine here because of the map. The reason I don't like men at arms is like if I go men at arms and he just opens range, and now it's like kinda kinda rough. Potentially. I think in tournament I looked to wall him in here somehow. I couldn't really find it. I thought maybe here. It's a wall off there though for sure. 
<clears throat> no second TC? Nah. I'm not really a fan of playing like that, that way. I think I'm more of a fan of uh, playing aggressive with humans. I mean, I think the second TC is cute, but it, it almost never works in Arabia because you get an eco advantage, but you give up all of map control. Yo, what's up, boys? We may watch. It's not like that anymore, you know that, right? It's a tragedy. Yeah, 19 pop. Why are you why do you wanna be up so fast? Your barracks isn't even up, don't lie to me. I'm going range. See he went 19 pop range, see that? It's like how can I ever how can I ever go for um minute arms for stats? It's impossible. <laughs> Just gotta give him a bit of a heart attack. Why not? This hair jungle was the best emote. It was nice, yeah. It was just it was underused, man. It was un a lot of my emotes are underused. I'm trying to rehaul them a little bit here. He has a spear here though, be careful. Kind of like a weird map. A little bit weird. Yeah, he's going here with a spear archer. Oh, he put walled wall. I can't fight the Bohemian Spear because it just does too much damage. She's doing a lot of damage to that house, bro. A lot of damage. Oh, yo, he's gonna kill the house, man. Cringe. My, my villagers get shot by one arrow and they just run back five miles for no reason. Okay, this is like incredibly cringe. Just sent three bills there. Finish the house. Play a scout skirm. Fletching now. I killed a lot of his archers here. Just tough for Bohemians because their uh, spears do so much damage. Lost a lot of my scouts there. I don't know if that's worth it or not. I'm gonna make more scouts. So I, I want to continue trading here if possible. I don't know how this guy got here, but he needs to go back. I don't know why he's doing so much damage to this house.
There's a market now. That doesn't seem like something I can easily deal with. Oh, oh, that's fine. <laughs> okay. I thought he had me there for a second. I was like, she, she just did me like that. But nah, it's fine. can have that bro, I'm, I'm out, I'm going here, for sure a hole there, no? I don't have even fletching, yeah, I told you there's a hole here. I mean, this is a fantastic trade right now, this is exactly what I want. He should be pretty dead right now. I also didn't even get fletching, which is like somewhat decent because I mean it would have been nice to have fletching, but I'm gonna add what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some scouts now. And also get bloodlines and like upgrades on them. I will not stay on one town center. I will add town centers, but I will also go pretty heavy on the knights. I have my armor. I don't really care about him having chemistry crossbows. He's not going to get to chemistry in a good time. I do care about him adding a lot of spears though. Try to get some damage on the spears here with the skirm. That's actually quite good. Getting some few damage on the on the spears. I'm going to add a few scouts here. Just like a few. Four or five is good. TC on gold now. I could make it right now. But the problem with making the TC now is that it builds slower in feudal. So I actually don't even want to do it. Uh, right now. I'll start placing it a bit later. He's now made a few archers, as you can see. He's clearly trying to push me. I'll add a few skirms here. I don't want to lose any ground. I don't want to lose any ground before Castle Age. Ah, look at Fletching, but it's just a good upgrade for late game as well. I have no, I have no map. Uh, let's go out here and get another town center over here. You know what I want actually? Two step lancers. Just for raiding. My Cuban scouts are moving faster, so I will actually catch up there and kill him. Oh, hello there. Oh, what's up, bro?
Wait, just like that? He's going pikeman defense? Oh my god, someone saw- Dude, I, I literally made a video addressing the 1600s telling him not to go pikeman defense. This is what happens, bro. Pretty nice conversion timing. Uh, I missed. I misclicked my. Uh, well, I didn't misclick. I just hit the wrong one. Uh, basically, I have to get some monks out now to deal with the pikes that could come forward. All I have to do is make sure that you have an answer when he does try to hit your uh, your base with the pikes, whether that be skirms or something else. Doesn't really matter. In this case, it's gonna be monks for me. I don't want to go pure step lancer. I just opened a few step lancer to raid. Probably have to stop making them now. Like I said, I don't think pure step lancer is like the play or anything like that. I will, I will attack with the scouts though. That's gonna be nice. What's cool about the step lancer is that it's it's a better unit, raiding unit than the knight in the early game when you can micro it. And you can just actually one shot bills and get out. It's really cool actually. Uh, he's going for a castle, so. Uh, I mean, there's no reason why monks and knights can't work here, so I'm gonna just commit to monks and knights. That should be fine. I could also go skirm knight, but I think this is fine. And I think the big thing is just for me to mine some stone myself. That's gonna be pretty important. Yeah. Hope it doesn't get some mid insta. Yeah, that's good. Should be here at the front of the pikes, the scouts. Step are are good, man. Underrated unit for sure. They they feel smooth to play with. Like, look how smooth this is. Like that's that's actually insane. This dude is extremely underrated. What's up, Hearts? He's not even trying to push me, though. What am I even investing into right now? He's not even trying to push me. I actually spent all my woods. I need a university. Ah, oh, that's awkward. I spent all my wood. I don't have a building. That's really awkward. I should also be picking up relics while I can. I have map control. Anyone surprised? So you got three conversions out of three, by the way. <laughs> Up to M yeah, the university deleted me so much, like the building. What can you do? Besides make it.
Uh, something's going crazy here. It's that town center. Uh, I mean, do I just stay on Cavalier? That, that seems kind of weird. Kind of weak as well. I could switch to Kipchak maybe though. Maybe I switch to Kipchak Hassar here. Let's use my scouts and be active just to see what he's up to. Maybe I'll add some light cap as well. That's fine. I have three relics, so this is totally cool. He wants to come forward, yeah, so it's painfully obvious. That's why I didn't underinvest into my units. Do I go defensive castle? Uh, we don't need castle here, we just go castle here then. That's a good cleanup. Nice, GG. Nice little macro game there for us. Dude, there's something about this new style that I've kind of switched to. Not that I never played this before, but just like the adding TCs like consistently. Oh, we got that relic. It's just so much GG. better. I swear like two days ago, I would have all in in Castle Age here and I would have won, but it would be like close. Like I could throw. Here, there's just no chance to lose. It feels like after a good early game, but just like booming. It's a much better play style. I'm happy I'm adapting it. That's what you've always done? No, it actually isn't. I, I recently, Heart, I've gone to the habit of always going all in. Like, as soon as I'm up a sl small advantage, like, ooh, you know, like, I got 10 HP off a farm villager. That guy's weak. I'm like, I'm going to go all in. Try to kill the farm villager and then try to w win the game from there, you know? But I, I swear it's just better to um, to just boom it up, like, extend your advantage, go for the relics, etc. Play it slow.